Here's Cheddar. He's joining today, just behind me. <laughs> Hi, all right, so today is Sunday, October 11th, 2020. I am 11 years and almost 10 months on testosterone. Today I wanted to answer a few more questions that I've been receiving. I think I probably want to do like a monthly Q&A video. So if you follow me on Instagram, I ask for questions on there or on my Twitter, all those links are down below. So here's a couple that I was asked a few weeks back and just wanted to check in about them. Okay. Like I said in my I'm back video, one of the biggest questions that I've been asked is why don't I make YouTube videos anymore? So I think my first video really did address that pretty thoroughly, but I think it also might be good for me just to kind of do like a too long, didn't watch video recap. Essentially, my mental health wasn't in a place where I felt creative or inspired. I had a lot that I needed to work on within my own self, and I had a lot of hangups about coming back onto YouTube after everything that I dealt with in the past couple of years. Uh, it wasn't anything out of shame or anything like that, just, you know, uh, it wasn't the, the right time for me to continue making videos and I didn't want to force myself to make content, which then you'd, you'd probably easily be able to tell. I think one of the things that you might be able to tell is I'm more excited now making YouTube videos. I actually really enjoy the editing process and I'm at a good place in my life where I can continue having the discussions that I wanted to have on my channel. Can I talk about hair loss? Absolutely. In fact, it's something that I deal with a lot of dysphoria about. So 11 years on testosterone, I'm pretty happy with the amount of hair that I still have left. But I will say that my hair receding and getting thinner on my crown, it it doesn't make me very happy. Um, I, I do feel lucky though, this far on testosterone to still have as much hair as I do have. And I think I will make a longer video kind of showing some comparisons because there's been times when my hair was a lot thinner and then times when it was thicker and but essentially yeah it's a it's a big it is a big concern I think in the trans community both hair loss for anybody on the trans spectrum uh, it can definitely be very dysphoria inducing so I think I'll make a separate YouTube video just to kind of delve more into this dysphoria that I feel about it and why I feel that way and what I've been doing to help uh, alleviate it. And so, yeah, check back for that video. I think I'll probably do that in a couple weeks. Is there another book in my future? I really hope so. I say writing really hasn't been something I've done too much during quarantine. I've been more focused on music and uh, physical art. Well, writing is a physical art. I mean, it's like painting and stuff like that, embroidering, watercolors, things that I've been trying to learn and keep my mind active. So I do hope someday to publish these short stories that I've been writing. They're actually fiction, but kind of based off some true events that I went through. And I hope that similar to the intentions of my first memoir, that with these short stories, I can help provide some affirmations for youth and people struggling to accept their identity and become the confident and wonderful human being that they are. Have I written some new music? Yes, I have. And my housemate Brian and I kind of have this little recording studio set up, which has been really, really fun. And I am releasing more music. It's kind of all sitting in this sort of pipeline. I just gotta click release or whatever and pick the day. I think in the upcoming releases, I've got five songs done. Um, and I just wanted to space them out over the summer, got distracted, forgot to do that. So I will get back on that. And my link to my Spotify is down below. And um, yeah, so let me know what you think. Please, please go take a listen down below. You can find my normal Spotify page and then it's under the latest releases. Am I in a relationship? No, I'm not. Actually, it's been a while since I've been in a relationship. And I'm not gonna lie, I've been learning a lot about myself, about my friendships, about people that I hold close to me, uh, seeing my family, staying in touch with them. You know, it's a weird time to kind of be dating during COVID. Other people are, of course, which is totally great for them. But I'm not really actively seeking a relationship right now because a lot of change is going on in my life and I don't really know where I'm going to be in the next couple of years. I'm going to move. I've been in this one spot the longest I've ever lived in one spot in my, pretty much my whole life, which is totally wild. I got my cheddar. I've got my Jeffrey Palmer palm tree. I've got everything I could possibly need for the single man life here. What is my career path right now? So that's actually really exciting. 
As you know, because of COVID, a lot of people were laid off from their jobs. Mine was no different. I survived two rounds of it. And then starting in August, I began to pivot careers because it was kind of sad to go into work. Usually I'd see 200 to 300 people a day. And then it was just like three people and half my team was gone. And it was just, it was a really, really hard time. So because of everything going on, I decided that it would be a good time for me to take my real estate classes and get licensed in Massachusetts to sell real estate. It's not very different than commercial real estate, but it definitely is it's commission based. It's not a steady paycheck. It's going to be a difficult um, field to get into, but I think that I would be really good at helping people find their homes. So right now I'm just waiting to schedule my test. The day that I schedule my test, if I pass it, I'm a licensed real estate agent in Massachusetts and I can't wait. So, you know, if you know anybody who wants a house, you know, just call me up. Even if it's in another state, I can, I might be able to help out, like refer you to somebody good who's like in the queer community maybe. And uh, yeah, try and bring some equality and diversity to the real estate career. <laughs> so we'll see. I'll let y'all know the moment I'm licensed. I'm going to have like a little form for people to fill out and then you'll get little postcards with me saying, Hey, want to buy a house someday? You know, it'd be like a picture of me and Cheddar. Right, Cheddar? You're going to help me sell houses? Yeah, he's going to help me sell houses. That's right. So yeah, right now I'm fun employed just studying for that test when I can take it. Wish me luck. Who are you voting for? Oh, okay, no one actually asked me that, but I did want to make sure that I plugged the fact that no matter who you're voting for, if you're in the US, please vote during the election. I don't care who you're voting for. Yeah, that's where we're at. Go vote, vote, please vote, please, 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 please vote. Thank you. Last but not least, do I feel comfortably happy right now? I would say so. I would say that, you know, there are a lot of things that are really difficult for me to deal with in both my personal, um, and my work life, but I feel like I'm in a really good place to handle them and I take each day as it comes and just try, try to be a good person during everything that's going on. So yeah, I would say I'm, I'm comfortably happy, a little stressed out, but we'll see what happens. Never know. Anyway, thank you all so much for coming to my Q and A. I put all the stuff and links down below. I've been going live on Instagram more often, so definitely follow me on there. And I'll be back soon with a new video. And I really appreciate y'all who ask questions. You're great people, and I'm lucky to be able to interact with you. Cool. Much love.